the entire roadway is like a giant swing. This means that in an earthquake, it can move freely, isolated from the most violent shaking. But the very design that protects the bridge in earthquakes makes it vulnerable to high winds. The challenge engineers faced was to build a roadway that would not rock in the wind, but would rock during a violent earthquake. To hold the deck in place in bad weather, designers created an innovative system of giant struts. In heavy winds, this main strut holds firm and prevents the roadway from moving. But when we have something a little bit more extreme, like an earthquake or something which is a load over a certain limit, this is going to run out of action. It's going to break effectively inside. A small part is going to break and the four dampers around it are going to take the movement. The enormous dampers act like the shock absorbers on a car. They allow the roadway to move so it's not damaged in an earthquake. But at the same time, they keep it from swinging too violently or impacting the towers. And the deck is going to move to side to side. It's going to absorb this energy of the earthquake. And we're not going to have a catastrophic event uh, on, the, on the road or on the, the pylon. Yeah? So we're going to absorb the energy of the earthquake. It's important for the bridge to be able to move. So we need to let the deck move and absorb this movement with the dampers. The dampers allow the roadway to move as much as five meters. In the event of an earthquake, it will be a rough ride, but the roadway should survive. Another difficult design challenge was predicting the behavior of the cables. All cables vibrate, but too much vibration would damage the bridge. So engineers here incorporated two technologies to help solve potential future problems. Although an untrained eye could easily overlook them, they are hiding in plain sight. Built into each cable is a collar. If the cables on the Rion Anterion bridge vibrate excessively, engineers can attach an additional cable that links each collar with the next. It's like muting a harp by putting a hand on the strings. Built onto the same cables is another device called a strake. This is smaller and even harder to notice than the collars. The strake is a spiral lip that runs the length of the white cable sheathing. It looks like decoration, but it plays a key role in the longevity and safety of the bridge. This was a lesson a bridge in Texas learned the hard way. The Fred Hartman Bridge in Baytown is not as big as the Rion Anterion Bridge in central Greece. The main span is 380 meters, not 2,200, and it spans a river, not the Gulf of Corinth. There is no active seismic fault line here, and no excessively deep water. So it was a surprise when the Fred Hartman's cables began to misbehave. And not just a little. The cables were vibrating so much they began to tear the bridge apart. The vibrations would come and go, and the reason why was a confusing mystery. In good weather, there were no problems. In high winds or in pouring rain, there were no problems. But mild rain and a mild wind coming from just the right direction spell disaster. It took endless observation and wind tunnel tests to work out why. It turned out that in mild rain, a tiny stream of water would run down the cables. The water would change the profile of each cable just enough for the wind to set it in motion. However, if there was too much wind, the water would be blown off the cable. And if there was too much rain, the stream of water wouldn't form. But the designers of the Rion Anterion Bridge didn't have to worry about mild wind and rain. Rainwater wouldn't be able to run straight down these cables because of the simple raised lip that spiraled around them.
The Rion Anterion Bridge faces a combination of challenges that no ordinary bridge could survive. Strong earthquakes, exceptionally deep waters, fast currents and weak seabeds. And added to these dangers are the risks that every megastructure faces. One of the most heart-stopping of these is lightning. A single bolt can wield a billion volts of electricity and reach a vaporizing 30,000 degrees Celsius. Lightning loves metal and seeks out the highest point around, so bridges are often a prime target. The designers of the Rion Anterion Bridge kept this in mind. A bridge's best defense against lightning is a lightning rod. This provides a path of least resistance for the lightning. On the Rion Anterion Bridge, rods are connected to metal ribbons that guide lightning bolts around the bridge and down to the sea. An electronic monitor on the tower records each time lightning strikes here. The engineer slides a magnetic key and a red light flashes once for each strike since the device was installed. The lightning rods have worked successfully many times, but on the 27th of January 2005, a massive bolt scored a direct hit to one of the cables. Operators immediately closed the bridge. 40 minutes later, the cable fell to the deck. It had been burned completely through. Losing one cable was not dangerous. This bridge was built so mightily, it could handle losing two or even three cables without a problem. Three days after the freak lightning strike, the damaged cable had been replaced. The bridge was as good as new and open for traffic. The quick repair was yet another triumph for the builders of this mega structure, and it remains a source of pride for everyone involved.